the uh, Humane Society and myself will come out here and just checking to see that all animals are being cared for properly and that they have all the appropriate permits. The U.S. Department of Agriculture does require them to carry specific paperwork and permits. The actual inspection went very well. The owner of this particular circus and these animals was very agreeable to seeing everything that need, needed to be seen. Uh, one of the things I'm really impressed about on this inspection is the fact that the animals are not kept tied or tethered. They're actually in, in, in enclosures that uh, help them get the, stretch their legs and move around. Well, I've been with the circus all my life and my grandfather started it even before I was born and we've always had animals and we love animals. We like to display them to the public because you know a lot of children don't have access to zoos and uh, it's great to look at pictures on the internet but to me if you look an animal in the eye you, you love them. That's when you develop this uh, you know fondness for animals and, and learn to care about what happens to them. So I, I really believe that as we travel around the United States we introduce animals to a lot of children that would never be exposed to them on an eyeball to eyeball basis. I'm prejudiced of course. I think we do a wonderful job and uh, to us if you don't have a, a tent and you don't have animals you don't have a real circus. So we definitely have a real circus.